I'm Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction. If you're new, I want to say a great big hello and if you're one of my subscribers, thanks for coming back. Today is the exciting BoxyCharm unboxing day. So I've got my box here. I haven't opened it. I haven't looked at any spoilers. Hence the bare face. Before I open it though, I have gone in. I'm trying a new primer, which is shocking. I have my holy grail, but I thought I would try this one. I saw another YouTuber recommend it. So far, it's working good. My skin has, uh, I don't know if it's the changing weather, but I, I've never had oily, oily skin. And lately it seems like some of my tried and trues are not working the same way. So I went back to my Fenty Beauty Foundation, and this is in color 200. Um, I never had a problem with this being too dry, even when my skin has been more the normal comb combination. So now that my skin is a little oilier, I'm gonna give that a shot. I set everything with Laura Mercier powder. Um, using up some other powders. I am out of my Flower Beauty powder, just about. Um, I finished up, so in empties, this Sephora Bright Future Gel Ser Serum Concealer. Um, it's empty. Uh, this is in color 06 Parfait. It's not bad. I can't say it's bad. I will say that um, for any of us that might have a little bit of texture under the eyes, it does tend to settle in that so it can kind of pronounce any under eye. It can get looking crepey. Um, I also, I have another video coming, I don't think it'll be up before this, we'll see. I bought some things from Sigma. I love their brushes. Two of the brushes that I got were the Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki and this Sigma F87 Edge Kabuki. These brushes may very well change my whole makeup game. I've been using this for foundation and I've been using this for concealer as well as powder. Amazing. I, I can't describe yet how they, they work. I'm such a beauty blender fan, especially for under eye, but this, it, it's amazing. And for tapping in your powder to set or to bake, phenomenal. I also did my brows with the Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to Go in Medium to Ebony. I cannot say enough good about these little, I have two of them and they are amazing. I love, love, love these. Cannot say enough good about these. So with that out of the way, let's go in and see what BoxyCharm sent us this month. Hey, I didn't cut myself. So first things first on the top is always their little card. Um, and it'll have everything that came in it on that. Now, first thing I'm feeling in here is brushes from Luxie Beauty. We've gotten quite a few Luxie brushes in BoxyCharm and I do quite enjoy them. Just bought a bunch of new brushes, but let's see what's what's in here. So we have a Luxie 516 Duo Fiber Powder Brush. I quite like these for brushing away bake. We have a Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. And we have a Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. Now this feels quite, I don't know, soft. So I'm not sure how that would work as far as 
putting on foundation. In my opinion, this would probably soak up a lot of product, but I'll give it a whirl and see. Then I feel the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now I have been using this for quite a while. Um, Tati, oh, mine has leaked, unfortunately, I just noticed. Um, I've used mine for quite a while. That's unfortunate. Smells okay, okay, but I may email them about that. Um, Tati recommended this and I started using it and love it. I loved this so much. Um, I use the Foot Samba Cream. I use the Bath and Shower Gel. Love this smell. Love the texture. Love the cream. And then we have Baddington Lashes. Nice. These are called the Monroe 3D Silk Lashes. Ooh, very pretty. They don't look like they're going to be that huge, overly dramatic look. So I'll maybe pop these on. Then we have an Ofra Liquid Lip in Verona. I don't think I have any Ofra Lip products. Not a bad smell. Let's just give it a quick. That's very pretty. Very pretty. It seems to go on very smooth. I like that. I will give this a whirl as well. Then we have from Jante Bleu. 903 dark brown eyeliner pencil i've never heard of this brand before so we'll give that a whirl as well oh wow it feels smooth there was no tugging it didn't feel hard so we'll give that a whirl and lastly we have reina del carib eyeshadow palette volume one i am probably really butchering that name and this is from Alamar Cosmetics that font is hard to read that's my criticism so far but let's take a look inside very pretty um, I am noticing that there's some fallout already on the packaging but very pretty so I think what I'll do, so these videos aren't quite so long, is I will swatch these as well as finish up my look and I will be right back and let you know what I thought. Bye. So I'm back. I have finished my face using all my BoxyCharm products. And right off the get-go, I have to say, oh my goodness, if there is any way that you can get this, if you are not a BoxyCharmer, get it. This is absolutely amazing to work with. Like, here's my swatches. And you've all seen me swatch before. So it's not like I'm going in, you know, 20 million times. Let's focus on this camera, come on. But like, this is La Costa, El Mission, Veradero, Celia, uh, Coco Taxi, Tropico, Guantamera, Caf Cafecito, I've butchered all those names. These are honestly, I went in with one little whoosh 
The only thing I did is I wet my arm with a makeup remover wipe for the ones that say to use wet, the uh, shimmers. These blended like a dream. I have never, I would put the quality of this palette above that of my Natasha Denona palettes. Hands down, I'm in utter shock. I love this palette so much. It says um, volume one on the back. If there are more volumes, I'm in. A hundred percent. I I can't say anything bad about this palette. Um, amazing. Amazing. But I could go on about that forever and ever in a day. Amazing. Love this. The eyeliner, Jante Bleu. Um, only okay. Actually, let's go through it. The palette is worth $28 is all. $28. I love that palette so much. Anyway, Eyeliner Pencil by Jante Bleu is $5. Um, it's worth $5. It's waterproof. It didn't go on the eyelid as smooth as it went on my hand. Now that may be because, you know, I had shadow on and whatnot, so it did skip a bit. Take it or leave it. It's not terrible. Definitely not my favorite. But then again, I do prefer a gel or a liquid liner, so I may be biased. That's my thoughts on that. I put on the lashes. They are the Baddington Monroe Silk Lashes. They go for $28. They're nice. They feel light. They look natural. Well, natural enough, I guess. They aren't the most comfortable. They do have a wider lash band. So in one regards, it makes it easy to kind of get it down onto your lash line. But on the flip side, I can feel it. Um, there are much better Deja Vu lashes, Revlon lashes, um, some of the Ardell lashes that have a very thin lash line are more comfortable in my opinion. Um, the Ofra, this goes for $21. It's very comfortable. Um, it is a liquid, long lasting liquid lipstick, but I don't feel it dries down 100%, but very nice. I love the color. It's not, I don't know if it's one I would pick normally, and I'm glad I got it. I very much enjoyed this. So, just to let you all know what I did to finish off my face, I did use the Burberry Cat Lashes Mascara. If you ever want to feel hoity, I love this mascara. It's got um, the thicker bristle type wand that I love. Uh, dupes for this would be the roller lash, um, but I love that. I didn't really contour at all, but I used this. Now this is a new one because this is in deep bronzer because I thought maybe during summer and for contouring that I might need to go a little deeper. So I used this for my highlight which can I just say, I hope it shows up on camera as good as it does in real life. This has got to be the most natural yet blinding smooth highlight I've ever used. And it is Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Champagne. Um, it looks to be a bit glittery, but it's not. I just... I love this glow. Love, love, love. It doesn't smell as good as the bronzer, but it does still smell good. So for blush, I went in with Physician's Formula Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. The only reason this gets points off is because I broke a nail opening it. <laughs> um, it's all super cute and pretty. I found it was too light. So I went in with Physician's Formula, can you tell there was a sale? <laughs> Butter Blush in Natural Glow, just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. And it smells good too. The story behind it is, is I have been looking everywhere. They came out with a couple sets that had, I think, two highlighters, two blushes, and then their scent. 
and it was supposed to be available at Walmart. I checked our Walmart, it wasn't there. I checked our Rexall, our Shoppers Drug Mart, our London Drug. I've been checking grocery stores since I lucked out with Wet n Wild there. It is nowhere to be found, so I'm devastated because this is one of the few scents that I absolutely love, and I would wear that smell all over my face, and I wouldn't get tired of it all day long. So, um, oh, and as far as a matte, I did go in with one of my Inglot, this matte shade right here, just because there wasn't a very light matte just for base for the eyeshadow. I didn't get to use my brushes, but I will keep you posted on these. But overall, this box was a two thumbs up, absolute winner. Like these, I can't say enough. Love, love, love this month, month's box. It has been hands down favorite. So I will wrap it up. So if you liked this video, like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this month's box. And until next time, I love you all so much. Bye.